Here we have it, Bishop Vespaan on the big screen at the front of Pig and Whistle. Hey, morning guys, back in Brisbane today, and first things first, we're bright and early, and I'm off to the ABC Studios in Brisbane um, to film and also do a radio interview, so uh, let's do it, should be good. Yeah, so now that I'm back in Brisbane, the focus is 100% on the Justin Bishop match. Uh, it's less than two weeks away. It's my opportunity to show the world of arm wrestling where I'm at and to, to help grow arm wrestling even more in Brisbane. And uh, I can't wait. Absolutely can't wait. I'm ready. And uh, yeah, looking forward to telling these ABC guys this morning all about it and hopefully getting some more exposure for the sport and for the match. There we go, so the parking has been sorted. The ABC's got a spot for me down here, uh, which is nice of them, but um, yeah, now we're going. So we can't work out where to go. All right, Doug, the security guard here at the ABC. Yeah. All right, don't move, ready to go. Yeah, are you trying? No, I'm just thinking. I'm not, I'm, just, I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> so. Oh, you did the pull <laughs> So that's the sort of angle yeah. that we go. Yeah, Three, two, one. Nice. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. Uh, Mark That's going live on ABC Radio Brisbane. And Ryan. Yeah. Bowen, is that yeah. how I pronounce your surname? Yep. Fantastic, mate. I'll get you to uh, front up to mic three for me. Fantastic, sure. mate. Uh, just a disclaimer for you as well. Yes, you can see the next segment on Facebook Live, and I'm warning it could be some form of possible humiliation for me <laughs> as well. Why? Well, Ryan Bowen is here in the studio. He is the Australian National Arm Wrestling Champion. Ryan, hello to you. Morning, Craig. How are you? What a title to have. Yeah, mate. It's been it's a it's an enjoyable title to have that one. Uh, you th you've got to throw in Asia Pacific as well. So oh, not, so not just yeah. Australia. This <laughs> yeah. is Asia Pacific. Yeah. And yeah. What's next? World domination? Then Ryan. That is that is the plan. I'm actually bringing out uh, the American champion number two in the world uh, in a couple of weeks' time. I'm taking him on in uh, just in, in Brisbane. So Red Bank Plains at the Pig and Whistle. We're going to be throwing down. So it's going to be. <laughs> Good. Um, what sort of training regime are you part of? Arm wrestling is all about very much specifically getting on the table and practicing arm wrestling. The the, the Brisbane club, we've got a, a club, the Brisbane Heavy Hitters, there's about 40 of us. and there's, we, a, there's a club for yeah. arm wrestling? I reckon the majority of people have no idea that it's an actual professional sport, it's professional sport and it really is. Eastern Europe is massive on it. The USA is huge and Australia is an emerging country in terms of where we're ranking in the world. And uh, yeah, I'm leading the charge and trying to get them up there as well. Okay, just uh, shape up. Show us you know, your, your guns. It's it's unsuspecting. Oh. There's not there's not a lot there, but it's it's forearms and wrists. Like, I I just won the Queensland state titles, the super heavyweights in the final. I took down 155 kilo Australia's MMA super heavyweight champion Marcus Atiroi. Did it easy. Wow. And as you can see, I'm not that big, so very, well, I, could, see, I could hustle. When, when you walked in, I was, I was expecting, you know, um, that there wouldn't be room through the door yeah. for you yeah. to, to come through, but that's not the case this morning. So, so like you said, there, there's a, a club, a fair bit of training goes yeah. on. What about the eye contact? Is that part of the, the yeah. competition as well? Is well, it that steely we've, we've determination? All, we've all seen the over-the-top movie sliced alone and then the sort of mental uh, gameplay that happens. And don't get me wrong, that is a very, very big part. You see lots of different arm wrestlers. Some like to put the shades on to stay ice cold, and other people like to get worked up. I'm a pretty cool character on the table. I don't, not much bothers me. I, I stay pretty calm, pretty quiet, and just uh, lure my lure my opponent into a false sense of security. And you know, we've heard with say rugby league or a lot of other sporting clubs, they will analyse video of oh, their opposing yes. teams before a big matchup. Is that the same? Well, for, for yeah, I, I've got Justin Bishop. He's from Alabama. He's coming out, and I, I've I've spent probably in the last month, I've probably spent about 50, 60 hours watching this guy. Uh, so I know exactly what he's going to do. I know how he breathes before a match. I know what he flinches. I'm going to take him apart bit by bit. Um, do you carb load before uh, an arm wrestle? I, I, I've, I've, normally I compete in a weight category. Like uh, where I won the Asia Pacific title was actually at 80 kilos. I'm currently at 95 kilos today. So Justin and I have agreed that we're going to meet at open weight. So we're just eating. We're eating everything and everything at the moment. So, <laughs> Roach Fountain, do you want to come in here? We, we better have an arm wrestle this morning. Right? So when did what did I've just been on holiday? So yeah. Oh, well, you're you car bloated bit, up. I'm a little bit over over my uh, you know my quick oh, weight, so to speak. All right. good. All good. Okay, let me let me come around to, to you over that side. I'll um, turn that microphone on. Uh, cue the cue the arm wrestle music. Bit of eye of the tiger. <laughs> okay. Let all me. Right. 
So without, without without a table, let's just let's just go hand on the knee or something like that. Um, okay, here we go. So hand on the so, hand so, on the knee. So straight arm wrestling is not about left and right. It's about bringing your opponent closer to you. Okay. Oh, so it's not about so bend your wrist, bring your bring your opponent as close to you as you can. Okay, right. And then once you've got them close to you, then it's time to lean over. So right, yeah. Right. So so just on the knees. Oh, so you, I'm so, I'm disadvantaged I, already because I'm so <laughs> short. But, Actually, okay. what we might do a different way yeah. of doing. It. So you put your left arm on my shoulder. Okay, left and, arm. Yep, yep. And then we'll just hover. And then so now yep. you got to try to touch your chest. Okay, radio. Yep. Here we go. ABC Radio Brisbane. Ryan Bowen, who is the Asia Pacific arm wrestling <laughs> champion, taking on one Mr. Craig Zonka <laughs> on ABC Radio well, Brisbane. He's got some power. Oh. Yeah, so what you can feel is it's in the wrist. Oh. It's the ability to do this. So try to roll my wrist up like that. Oh, see. Oh, the <laughs> god. <Very good. laughs> Ryan, you're too good. Oh, too god. strong. Yeah, as, as you can feel there, it's all hand and wrist. A lot of the, a lot of people think that big biceps are going to be who's going to be the better arm wrestler, but it's not the case. It's just hand wrist technique. So your tradesmen, your mechanics, they're great for the sport. Uh, the big bodybuilders, surprisingly, they go down like like that. Do they really? They do. Well, just like I did this morning. So, <laughs> big bodybuilders and radio presenters. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Both in the same boat. Um, so when's the when's the big, big o- title? October twenty nine, which is a Sunday afternoon, out at the Red Bank Plains Pig and Whistle. Radio. Well, all the very best, Ryan. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for joining us this morning here on ABC Radio Brisbane. Uh, let's get the latest in news. Just after half past seven, Shelley Lloyd. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, just turn Shelley's mic. Thanks, Rach. Good morning. Hello, Hello Shelley. <laughs> there will be no arm wrestling in the news. There we have it. Went live on ABC Red Out. It's good fun. Bit of a plug. Arm um, wrestled the, uh, the presenter. And lots, lots of fun. Hopefully get a few more people out there and a few more people aware of the sport. So, awesome stuff. Alrighty, so before I went away on holidays, I did order my uh, wife a birthday present. And I'm um, just coming to the Orion here in Springfield, my local area, just to get it wrapped and sorted out. So here it is in this bag. Uh, the last component of what was her 30th birthday. Uh, hopefully she liked it, so it should be good. But um, yeah, other than that, today is pretty much just the day where I'm trying to sort the whole thing out. We did the radio thing this morning, which was awesome. Really enjoyed that. Now it's um, all about getting everything lined up. We're gonna get a haircut. My hair is getting pretty vicious, but uh, after I've had a haircut, I think I am going to actually start talking to a few local businesses again and see if we can't get the ball rolling in uh, getting a bit more momentum uh, behind the Ryan Blue Bowen channel. Just about to go get my hair cut at my favourite barbers, NK Barbers in Red Bank Plains. I just wanted to tell you guys about something uh, pretty awesome. I um, One thing I do in social media is I reach out and I network all the time and i uh, just uh, looking like I'm going to catch up with one of the survivors from the Australian Survivor season, Tara, uh, the runner-up. I'm going to catch up with her over the next uh, week or two and see if I can't help her out with some social media. So awesome stuff. But anyway, guys, Time to go get this mop uh, straightened up. Time for a haircut. <laughs> you know me, I always bring the camera. Uh, it's been a while. Have a look at the mop here, Jesus. <laughs> Monty's done a good job, looking a lot sharper than I was when I walked in. Cheers, cheers for a good job, man. <laughs> Let's, um, Deb's running away. Oh. <laughs> I got two hands. How good is that? I'm, I'm, back, I'm back at Stella Rosa. Look, they've brought the couch out for me. They've got the coffee we ready. You. I'm back. It's been a month since I've been here. Yes. Hey, what's the word? You guys are, are we allowed to say that you're Well, it will be happening in the next few weeks. What's the crazy name you have? The Cross Eyed Chow's Kitchen and Dessert Bar. <laughs> Look out, it's coming. It's been a big day today. Uh, my battery's gone flat. I had to charge my phone that many times. But yeah, it's been a big day today. I'm just about to head into the Pig and Whistle uh, to go and catch up with the, the uh, venue manager there to just talk about um, getting everything lined up for the Bishop Island Super Match, which is less than two weeks away. So anyway, let's, let's go do that. Hey, check out what's on the uh, advertising boards here at Pig and Whistle. Looking good. There we have it, Bishop vs Bowen on the big screen out the front of Pig and Whistle. How good is that? There we go, we got DLs to go out to all the local businesses and all sorts of stuff. A3 posters as well. Um, gonna be going up around the area, which is pretty awesome. So everything's shaping up nicely, looking good uh, to go for the 29th of October. We're gonna announce some undercard matches and all that sort of stuff soon as well. Um, and that will uh, only increase the level of excitement for the local area. And um, 
really, really, really can't wait for this match. So, gonna wrap it up here at the Pig and Whistle and head home to do some training tonight. Uh, to ran out uh, my first day back from holidays, and uh, yeah, it's been a big one, but uh, a very good one. Most of them do always, in fact, to just just cut over a slot, just gently, not aggressively, but just just kind of just do that. I'll go back there again, exactly where you were, to get to get the back pressure on like you had. And yeah, just be patient. Don't try to pin. Just take, just make me as palm up as you can. Don't top roll. Yeah, yeah, there. And then just be patient there, and just kind of you you now say to me, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to get out? Because right there, even though the bleed is slow, if you, if you try to press, you'll bleed yourself more than me. But if you just sit and don't worry about it, just kind of back off and say, we're going to say to the Kings, well, how are you going to get out? They will gas more, and then they'll start to panic. But not many people are patient when they take on a king. Because taking on a Kings mover, you have to be super patient. Really, really patient. So there we have a big day today. Um, first day back in Brisbane, uh, from the, back from the holidays, and uh, it was an epic day. Um, day feels like it's gone forever. A radio, um, fixing up presents for the wife for the 30th birthday, pig and whistle, um, talking to businesses. Uh, how, bit, how good is this? Talking to Tara, the runner-up from Survivor. That's exciting. I'm gonna meet with her next week on Tuesday, so um, that'll be awesome. Just to, I can't wait to even just hear that the goss from behind the scenes of what happened in the show but um big day looking forward to tomorrow um got a lot done and uh no doubt it's going to be a uh, a good week hit the ground running so thanks thanks for watching guys uh take it easy and i'll see you next time